With abortion on the line in the upcoming Supreme Court term, nationwide protests drew thousands to Washington and other cities Saturday to demand continued access at a time when conservative lawmakers and judges have put it in jeopardy. AP's Julie Walker reports. <laughs> In Cleveland, they chanted Save Roe in reference to the landmark Supreme Court case which made abortion legal. In Washington, they cheered for Planned Parenthood President Alexis McGill Johnson, who told the crowd this year nearly 600 restrictions have been introduced in 47 states. No matter where you are, this fight is at your doorstep right now. At a New York rally, Governor Hochul recounted how her own mother fought for abortion rights, and she's been in the same fight her whole life. I'm sick and tired of having to fight over abortion rights. It's settled law in the nation. At an unrelated event in Maine, Republican Senator Susan Collins said she's working with two Democrats and another Republican to make Roe versus Wade the law of the land. I'm Julie Walker. A leading Islamic State media figure was charged in U.S. federal court in Virginia with conspiring to provide material support to a terrorist organization. We get more from AP's Ben Thomas. Federal officials say Mohammed Khalifa was captured overseas by the Syrian Democratic Forces in January 2019 and recently transferred into FBI custody. The Saudi-born Canadian citizen was a leading figure in the Islamic State of Iraq. He's alleged to have fought for ISIS on the battlefield in Syria and also to have played a leading role in translating, narrating and advancing the group's online propaganda. If convicted, Khalifa faces a maximum penalty of life in prison. I'm Ben Thomas. President Joe Biden mourned the painful milestone of 700,000 American deaths from COVID-19 one day after the U.S. surpassed that mark late Friday. The president said in a statement, the astonishing death toll is yet another reminder of just how important it is to get vaccinated. Biden said the nation has made extraordinary progress in the fight against the coronavirus in the past eight months because of vaccines. Biden added that vaccines will help us beat COVID-19 and move forward together as one nation. Thousands marched Saturday in Bucharest to protest restrictions that begin Sunday to combat a jump in coronavirus infections. The restrictions scheduled to take effect Sunday include requiring masks in public and that shops close at 10 p.m. local time. Public spaces such as restaurants, theaters, and gyms can remain open, some at only partial capacity for customers who have COVID-19 passes, meaning they are fully vaccinated or can show proof they have had the illness caused by the coronavirus. The European nation of 19 million is seeing a shocking rise in the daily number of coronavirus cases. One month ago, the number was about 1,000 cases a day. On Saturday, Romania reported more than 12,500 new cases, its highest number since the pandemic began in March of 2020. Georgians voted in municipal elections Saturday that could determine the outcome of a political crisis one day after the arrest of a former president who flew in from exile to call for support for the opposition. Official results would not be available until early Sunday, and three exit polls predicted differing results making it unclear whether the ruling party would emerge with enough support to fend off demands that it dissolve parliament. An exit poll by the pro-government Imedi channel predicted Georgian Dream would win 47.6% of the vote, with the UNM gaining just 27.1%. A separate exit poll by an opposition channel had the ruling party ahead only narrowly. Pakistan fans are mourning the death of comedian Umer Sharif, who passed away in Germany Saturday. The 66-year-old was admitted to a hospital in Nuremberg Wednesday after his health deteriorated while he was being flown to the United States for treatment. His son told the Associated Press that Sharif was suffering from heart and kidney illness. Sharif started his career as a comedian performing on stage, but was famous for appearing in comic plays and performing in a number of films and television dramas while directing several films as well.
Hi, thank you for watching. I hope the videos are useful for you. Please subscribe to my channel using the button below.